in an Impala. This ain't the Camaro. Man, what's good, y'all? It's your boy ZT Zooming. And you know we back booming, baby. So today, I got a little bit different style vlog for you guys. As you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I'm in my grandpa's Impala. So that's what I'm whipping today. Right now, I'm headed out to a town that's like 30 minutes away from where I live to meet up with this dude that hit me up. And he's got a 50 just like me. He's got a pretty dope car. I don't want to say too much, but just trust me, you guys are gonna be juiced when you see this thing. From everything he's telling me, it sounds dope as hell. I've seen pictures of it. I can't wait to show you guys his car, and then I'm gonna pick up a couple of parts off of him when I go over there too. And he's got one more vehicle besides the Camaro that I don't know if we're gonna see it or not today, man, but I'm telling y'all, stay tuned. So this is a titanium lug nut right here, you guys, and I mean, it feels like hardly anything in your hand. This is crazy. By the way, guys, this is my buddy Teddy right here. How y'all doing? He reached out to me. He's a 50 lover, just like most of you. And he's got these beautiful cars right here. So he's just showing me around his place. I gave you guys a little bit of hints about what we're doing, but this is it. There's another quick hint for you guys. So like I was telling you guys, his car is supercharged. Now he's got the Magnuson 2350, I believe it is. This thing is beautiful. I love the way it looks on the inside here. I mean, it just looks like everything's factory. The way the black matches, it just all looks like complete factory. You pop the hood on this and it's hard to even tell it's aftermarket. I just love it. It's such a clean kit. It's got the um, Mighty Mouse catch can there. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you guys are wondering how come this car is up on blocks and there's no wheels, well, check out the suspension. My man is gonna have the air ride on his car. He's got a complete air ride setup that he's working on right now. Let me show that to you. This is one of the most badass 50 cars that there is, period. Definitely the baddest in this area. So here's the air ride system here that he's gonna get custom installed in this trunk. He's got subs that are going in the trunk and he's getting it all done like super, super clean. I mean, everything he does is just super, super clean. Got the Roto Fab on here. He's got the Corsa exhaust. Now this isn't the MPP. This is the other Corsa here, but I mean, just sounds raw. Carbon fiber gas cap, beautiful. Check these wheels out. Now these are the stance wheels. I was checking these out before I got I got mine, but these are just gorgeous. I love how concave they look. It even looks like the wheel is stretched a little bit. Now, if you guys think that this is badass, you think that this is a dope setup, check out up there. You guys don't even know. Supercharged with an ANA supercharger. Long tube headers on this thing. Full exhaust all the way back. Yeah. Just gorgeous. The APR carbon fiber kit on here. Stance wheels as well. I mean, it's just beautiful. I think my man's whole garage is just goals. This is like my ultimate final goal for my car right here. Here's some of the airlines he's got ran for the air suspension. He went and he picked up the bigger airline so that it airs up faster and airs out faster. So my man Teddy bought an entire carbon fiber kit to go all around his car. Check out the weave on this, you guys. It's beautiful, but he's not gonna be able to put it on. If you check out these side skirts that he had installed before, you can see here where it attaches to the rocker panel there and you can get it pushed up tightly against it. These ones are missing that little panel there that would run along the um, rocker panel to be able to attach it up close. So you've either got to go to a body shop or something like that. His buddy Dan was saying maybe you could glue it to the car. He's going to go ahead and send this back because he doesn't like the setup. He doesn't want a gap at the top of his rocker panel, which makes sense. <laughs> I 
wish I didn't have my GM. <laughs> and I showed you guys the supercharger, but now it's running. I mean, it's quiet. It sounds just like it does from factory. Check out the gauges. Air fuel boost gauge. Man, what's good, y'all? So it's a whole, oh shit, we got something in the road. Damn, somebody blew out the tire. Anyway, so it's the next day now, you guys. I didn't get out of there until nighttime last night, so I didn't even really bother recording. Right now, I'm on my way back out to the shop. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up while I was out there. Let's get it. just like that we back at the shop you guys so what i ended up picking up while i was over there are lowering springs it is about time man i've been waiting to do this for a while he hit me up he let me know that he had these for sale i was like for sure i want them definitely these are the ibach lowering springs right here if you guys know ibach man i mean usually the top brand if not one of the top brands and lowering springs so you really can't go wrong my car has the magnetic ride suspension on it. Um, I doubt you guys can see it in there. But anyways, yes, I've got the MRC on my car. So the iBox springs do work with the MRC. These ones, here's the part number right here. I'll throw it up on the screen somewhere. Now, iBox also makes a second set of springs. They're for the SS1LEs that say they're specifically for the mag ride, but these ones also say they're compatible with the mag ride. These are the first ones that was released by iBox. And if I'm not mistaken, these right here actually lower your car a little bit more than the ones that are specifically made for MRC do. It's all good. Plenty of people run these. The MRC ones really haven't been out all that long. I got a pretty good deal on these. I'm really happy with it. The springs only have like 8,000 miles on them, which in spring life or for springs, that's really not long at all. Totally not worried about that. Very, very happy with this. I took this off of my car. Man, I don't know. I must've taken that off like six months ago. I was doing something in the trunk and I needed to get my rubber mat taken out of there for whatever reason. I set it in my laundry room haven't touched it forever so it's all dirty and filthy i'm gonna get that cleaned up we're gonna get that thrown back in the trunk but what we're doing today as you know we've already wrapped the hood black now if you guys haven't seen the video where i wrap my hood black you definitely need to go check that video out it was my first time and my car is super ashy so you guys probably can't see it as well but it was my first time and i'm really happy with the way that it came out sorry about all the ash on my car California's on fire. If you guys don't know or you haven't heard, matter of fact, check out the weather real quick. I know I show you guys all the time, but it's crazy. I mean, you can't even see the sun up there and you look up into the trees, it's like hazy. And it's only 1234 right now. So yeah, it's straight middle of the day and it looks like it's either almost nighttime or it's in the morning time or something like that. Uh, just this layer of smoke is just covering the area of California that I'm in. I live in Northern California, not all the way up north, but you know, we're pretty close to the trees and all of that stuff. I need to get the trunk ready to be wrapped because we're also gonna wrap the trunk black. We're gonna have this piece black with the wing black, roof black, and the hood black, and then we're gonna wrap the whole car a different color. I haven't decided on what color I'm gonna wrap the rest of the car yet. I don't know if I'm gonna go a matte to contrast the gloss, if I'm gonna go all gloss. I don't know, you guys stay tuned. Let's get these stripes taken off real quick. If you guys want a more detailed video, like I said, go check out that wrap video. I'll put it down in the comments or something. Let's do it. Bada bing, bada boom. When I go to wrap this trunk, I'm definitely gonna end up taking the wing off because I'm not trying to work around there. So I don't think I'm gonna bother trying to get the sticky stuff up today because there's so much ash on my car that I just don't want it to, you know, get embedded in the paint or scratch the paint or whatever. Now I've still got the 50 sticker back here on the back. Uh, I don't know, you guys. Comment down below whether I should remove this or not. I'm kind of thinking I might leave it just because when it comes time to reapply it, I don't want to have to worry about those little strips there. So, I don't know. You guys comment below. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Back 
back there. Yo, it's crazy. You don't drive your car for one day and it's like, man, you don't realize how much you miss it till you get back in this thing, man. I was driving that V6, riding on the freeway. I mean, it probably got like 300 horsepower, but man, it felt like a dog, man. I miss my baby. Woo! Anyways, y'all, I'm rambling about nothing. So yeah, we took off out of the shop. As you guys saw, I got my stripes taken off. I just wanted to get my trunk ready and prep for when I'm ready to put that wrap on my trunk. As you guys know, last time when I did my hood, I spent all kinds of time working on that before I even got to work on my hood. Now, I don't know how soon I'm gonna wrap my roof and wrap my trunk. There's ash everywhere, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it all on my seats here. So that's gonna be the reason why the hood and the trunk aren't gonna get done immediately. Hopefully, maybe in like a week, it'll stop, um, you know, burning around here so much. But in the meantime, I've got those lowering springs and I still need to put the sound deadening on my doors. I mean, that's the reason I bought the sound deadening from the jump and I've literally sound deadened the entire rest of my car except the doors. So I gotta get to that here soon. So yeah, that's what's gonna be coming up. Again, shout out to my guy, Teddy. I really appreciate you having me out there at your spot, showing me around, man. I had a good time, I appreciate it. But this your boy ZT zooming and we keeping shit booming. Peace. Real quick before I get up out of here, y'all. I know y'all seen the Lake Show, baby. We finna knock out the Rockets tonight. I don't know if this vlog will be up today or tomorrow. Regardless, woo, come on, man. Damn, people all in the road. Let me get my little spot. No, watch out, people. Woo, you hear that backfire, boy.